Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm finally getting to go on uh, a little overlanding trip. It's been way too long. Um, it's been so hot with the summer and stuff and I hate camping in the heat. So um, I think we, we finally are uh, starting to get into fall. So the weather should be a lot better. Um, it's looking really rainy out. Um, definitely can't see that. So yeah, I'm getting ready to meet uh, some guys from the Natural State Overland Facebook group. I'm um, also going to meet up with my friend Chad. Um, he has a YouTube channel called Overland Addict. Uh, really, really cool guy. He has an awesome uh, Overland JK. It's freaking cool. So um, check out his channel. That'd be awesome. So yeah, just uh, buttoning everything down real quick. And i uh, going to hop in the Jeep and get on the interstate and meet up with Chad. All right, it's finally time to go. We had a crazy, crazy rainstorm last night. Well, thunderstorm last night. So everything should be pretty dang muddy. So we'll see. Maybe it's not as bad an hour away, but I'm guessing that it's gonna be. Hey Siri, lock the house. Okay, running away safe. Man, it has been way too long. I think my last trip was in April end of April and it's now August 30th so yeah been a while I hate the summer so really looking forward to fall winter I love winter yes excited hey guys just got to our meeting spot um waiting for Chad to get here I think he's gonna be here in about 10 or 15 minutes I don't mind if I do hey I brought cheese too I'm taking one for my lady friend excellent there he is, spotted in the wild, Mr. Overland Addict. Oh, yeah. What's up? There he is, Arkansas <laughs> Raw Fro himself. Is this what we do? This we is just it, man. YouTubers right, this here? Is it right here? That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if uh, I'd be able to find you. I'm not sure how big Brashears is. Dude, I've honestly never been here. I just pinned it on a map and worked out. So. Yeah, I've never been here either. Yeah? Worked out good. Though. Cool, man. So we just made it to um, Bird's Adventure Center. Uh, kind of wanted to just regroup real quick, um, air down the tires, take a bathroom break um, before we hit the trails. I usually like to run between 15 and 18 PSI. Um, probably get closer to 18 on this trip uh, just because I don't want to spend the extra time airing up. But this uh, ARB tire deflator is awesome. All right, we got all four aired down. I think we're gonna start heading towards some dirt. All right, we are finally off. Um, got the tires aired down. All right, real quick, we forgot to uh, uh, disconnect our sway bar. Um, mine's already disconnected, but we got Chad over here working on the sway bars. There it is. All right, the tires aired down, the sway bar is disconnected. On our way to find some dirt. It's gonna be good. Also battling with uh, like five horse flies. Me too. He's like the dumbest fly I've ever seen. They just got these gaping holes. He just thought that he could fly out and continue to hit the windshield.
is so muddy. Slinging mud everywhere. Why is this muddy on the main road? It's more muddy on the main road than the back roads. I don't understand. Let me show you uh, what I don't like. Look at this nasty. And yes, I have a Jeep and I hate mud. Sue me. Just collecting everywhere. Probably have like 20 pounds of mud on here. Coming down to camp, um, finishing this last little uh, descent. Guys, the Jeep is having a problem. Um, I think the alternator is shot. Um, I'm getting a check gauges, light, and my uh, voltage meter, whatever dash, I don't even know what this is. It's all the way to the left. So, not cool. Um, yeah, we'll have to see uh, what happens tomorrow. All right, well, we have this pretty tiny tree down. It's not that big, but it is pretty strong, and I've, I've tried to kind of go over it and push it out of the way and maybe break it, but it's not working out. Um, so Chad's gonna get his electric chainsaw and just cut the end off real quick, and we'll drive right over it. Oh, Chad's going full send with the helmet and everything on this log. Made it. Made it over here. Yeah. Woo. Toasty out there. Well, it was getting a little bit dark, so I decided to uh, throw the GoPro on a tripod and uh, get a little time lapse in. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're just kind of setting up camp real quick um, after about five or six hours uh, of some really nice trails. Um, Peyton and his girlfriend met up with us. Uh, Peyton's one of my really good friends. Um, he's got a uh, white JK and he just put some 38s on it, um, so he's kind of giving it a little test drive. But yeah, we had an overall great day and uh, we're excited to get some rest. All right, guys, don't know how well you can see, um, but we've been just chilling around the fire. Uh, it's like 12.40, I'm about to go in bed. Uh, here's Chad's rig here. Made some good dinner. Chad, what'd you make for dinner? I made some fajitas, steak yes. and chicken fajitas. They were good, I had a sample. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed and uh, I think we're gonna meet up at OART Cafe in the morning with some other guys from the National State Overland uh, group and get some breakfast. I had a really fun day today. Um, very excited to get some sleep. Good morning. Morning. How's it going? How you feel? I feel great. Got some good rest. Yeah. Nice. Alright guys, well it's time to get up. Um I'm gonna kinda break down the tent and get ready to move on. It's about eight fifteen right now. 
Um, the fog is just super cool. Look at that. Um, yeah, getting uh, ready to pack up everything. I'll show you a little bit um, kind of what's left of camp real quick before we head out. You sleep good last night? Yeah. Really good. Finally all packed up, um, making our way uh, to the highway here to uh, go on to OR Cafe and get some breakfast. love coming to the cafe because usually there's some good looking rigs around here. We still got Randy over here in the green Jeep and uh, Rick I think is his name in the uh, LJ. So here we are we're gonna go in um, we're gonna put our sticker on uh, the cafe window so it's official. Here's the infamous uh, sticker wall at the cafe. Perfect. All right, Chad's got his. All right, it's off road going right there. Take it. Think we're going right there. A little crooked, but it's fine. Oh. Crooked is the new straight. That's right. We made it. There's the crew. How's the breakfast look? Good. Oh man, that's good. Got some good grub. What did we get? The Oart melt. Oart melt. Pretty good, huh? Awesome. Dang good. Such a cool score. I think we're gonna get. Some, I'm, I might get some pie later. I think. Definitely. Yeah, definitely would recommend. Definitely. All right, first time trying the uh, OR pie. Looks really good. I got the coconut. All right, we are fueling up real quick at the uh, OR station. Chad's pumping some gas there. Um, I'm at like <clears throat> a little less than half a tank, so gonna top it off and uh, gonna explore a little bit more east, um, northeast of. Uh, the Ozark National Forest. Haven't been that way before, so uh, mostly done a lot of the west. So, yeah, gonna see if we can find some cool trails. All right, heading out of uh, OR General Store. We don't really know where we're going, but we're gonna go somewhere north, um, check out some cool trails. Uh, a little update on some of the issues with the Jeep. Um, my left blinker went out, it's still out. I don't know what's up. Um, and then my gauges, uh, Yesterday, before we got into camp, my gauges, uh, my voltage gauge was gone. Um, it was all the way to the left, and I had a check gauges sign. So everything's fine now. Um, Jeep's running fine. Yeah, so far the only damage uh, of the trip is a, a new blinker light. All right, we found a little MVUM trail uh, right off of the main county road. A little tight, a little overgrown too. Don't know if uh, many people get back here, so we'll see how far we get. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll get out of here. Maybe we we'll have to turn around. I don't know yet. We had a little 
little surprise log in the road. Man, that head on, man. Chad, Chad completely uh, moved the log. That's hilarious. All right, update. Pulling down trees, I'm my bumper like a full bar, man. I guess this is why you have glimmerizers, huh? Yeah, they have a little bit of stuff in the middle. This is officially the tightest trail I've ever been on. I keep taking branches to the face. down this trail for 45 minutes an hour maybe um, and there's a total dead end uh, and the trail just gets super thick and then it just goes kind of downhill straight um, so maybe it was a cool trail at one point um, definitely not working yep just gonna head back uh, exactly the way we came through this crazy jungle again to get some more scratches real quick with my compressor um, take some county roads home uh, maybe try to stop at a car wash So as I was airing up, um, Randy from National State Overland and a couple other guys, uh, we met up with them again here. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, started to air up. Um, I think it's time that I start heading back and uh, they, they went on ahead. So uh, really good to see them guys. Uh, had a really good weekend. Um, special thanks to Chad uh, from Overland Addict. Had a great time, uh, ran some really good trails. So I appreciate uh, you coming out there with me. Had a, had a really good time. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video right here. I was able to find uh, a little car wash on the way home, so that was cool. I was really ready to get all this nasty clay off the Jeep. Um, yeah, I just wanted to extend a special thank you to all my new subscribers, uh, to anyone watching this video. I mean, if you've made it this far, it really shows you you care and you're engaged, and I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I never thought this channel would uh, grow as fast as it has and uh, I have no one to thank but you guys. Uh, it's just motivating me to make more cool videos. So please uh, continue to leave your comments and your likes. Uh, I really appreciate that. Hope you guys have an awesome day.